Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video we will see how to install Kali NetHunter on any Android phone in 2023. The Kali NetHunter project is the first open source Android penetration testing platform for Android devices, allowing for access to the Kali toolset from various supported Android devices. There are multiple unique features not possible on other hardware platforms. Requirements for installing NetHunter 1. Need a bootloader, a lock device 2. Rooted Android Phone 3. Nethunter Generic Device Image Zip File. Let me show you. I have rooted my device with Magis. You can see, I have the root access on my OnePlus 6T. Now we need to download the Kali NetHunter image file from the official page. I will give you the link in the description, so please do check it out. Now copy the link from the description and paste it into any browser. Now go to the mobile section and see if your phone is in the supported devices list or not. As I'm using a OnePlus 6T device, and it is in the supported device list, so I can download the image file from my device. As I mentioned earlier I'm going to show the method that will work on any Android phone. So I'm going to download the generic image of the NetHunter from this list. Downloading will take time, as it will depend on your internet connection, so be patient. After downloading the NetHunter open the Magisk app. We are going to install NetHunter as a Magisk module. Open the Magisk application. Now go to the module section. Now click on install from the storage option. Now locate the file where you download and select that file. And give the confirmation for install the module. Now installation will take time. It will depend on your internet connection. Now if your device is from the supported list, you need to install the NetHunter from the TWRP or any custom recovery, as it contains the custom kernel made for the NetHunter. Yes, generic devices don't allow you much features as compared to supported devices. Like you can't do wireless attack on generic devices as it needs a custom kernel that contains drivers for Wi-Fi card to support monitor mode. Now you can see the Kali NetHunter is installed on my device successfully. Now reboot your phone. Now after rebooting your device now, you can see some NetHunter applications are installed on my device. Now open the NetHunter application and start the Kali Crude Manager. Install any other apps from the NetHunter store as required. Configure Kali services such as SSH. Set up custom commands. Initialize the exploit database. Install the hacker keyboard from the NetHunter store using the NetHunter Store app. To use wireless attacks like Wi-Fi injection and Bluetooth attacks, you need a custom kernel. If your device does not have any custom kernel, then you can't do this type of attack. So this is it, for this video, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.